No, Yugi, I am your father. Welcome to another video, and today we are doing a very spicy video because there's about to be a new ban list. It's time to upgrade Umi Control again. You want to be playing the best Umi Control list possible? Yeah, check this out. All right, now this list was inspired by a list I found that got in top eight of Meta Weekly, and that is the Pacifist Rats deck list. If you want to check that list out, I'll have it in the description. But I made some tweaks because I don't have all the cards he's got. So let's check out the gameplay. Let's check out some of the spicy cards. Got Dragonoid Generator. Let's go. We're going to start out with our fish sonar. Search for the Ocean Dragon Lord. And this 1 2 pop Jellyfish Ocean Dragon Lord is probably the strongest play you can do in this deck. So if you got this play, you always do it. Now, we're going to search because we already have Sea Stealth in hand. We're going to search for the Sea Stealth 2. Let's activate. Get Umi online. Set all our back row. And why is Dragonoid Generator so good? What does this do? You pay a thousand life points in your main phase, special summon a Dragonoid token. Now, if you have just the Kairu Shin in hand and a Dragonoid Generator, you can tribute that token to special summon the Dragon Lord. But the real advantage is at the end phase, if you activate that effect, you give your opponent a token, and that token is Earth Attribute, which means if your opponent is not playing a water deck, they are locked out of summoning, thanks to Kairu Shin's ability. Let's give ourselves a token. Probably should have summoned that in defense mode. Give our opponent the token. An opponent. We got Ocean Dragon Lock. You got the token. What are you going to do? Opponent tried to summon, but they can't summon. They have to set their card face down because they're not playing waters. Set a monster. Oh, set a trap in the uh, spell trap zone. All right. Well, we also had Kairushin's Dark Reef. We're going to tribute our Umi because we got a lethal line. Well, let's get the Mega Fortress Whale and the Ocean Dragon Lord. Go back to our turn, unless opponent has a trap disruption that messes with us. We're going to get easy, lethal, General Raiho. We're going to summon opponent. Uh, Renewal of the World, that's not going to do anything. All right, opponent, you may be playing Jank, but we're playing, you know, super meta competitive, ultra, top eight, whom we control. And we are going to get lethal damage by activating Mega Fortress Whale and attacking directly with all of our water monsters. That is extreme lethal. All right. Now stick around. We got more spicy techs. Let's go on to the next game. All right. If you want to see more Umi control videos, more spicy water deck lists, there's new cards coming out. So make sure to subscribe. I'll have all sorts of spicy lists coming. Opponent also playing Umi control. This is the mirror match. Love the mirror match. All right. Opponent going first. And look, we got evenly matched. And evenly matched destroys Umi control. Opponent. Summoning a Doom Kragen. And passing. What is this? This is not optimal. I do not know what opponent's cards could be in hand, but whatever they are, they can't be good. Alright, let's start with the pot. Draw two. Gotta activate this first. We're getting so much value. And now, the ultra spicy tech reasoning. Alright, now you want to make sure your opponent doesn't know what you're doing when you activate your reasoning. Uh, that's why don't use this water field, because sometimes opponents see the water field and they're like, ah, I know what you're doing. You're playing Ocean Dragon Lord, and they name five. Alright. Reasoning, activate. Reveal cards until we reveal a monster. Special summon it. All right. <laughs> we whiffed. We whiffed with the reasoning uh, with Ice Jade tomorrow, but you know what? It's all good. Opponent hitting us with the maxi. A bit late to the party. We're going to call by. Maybe they're playing around uh, playing around that uh, hand trap. Cyprim Gamma Gear. But we got him anyway. Get him with the maxi. Call by the Grave Gone. Let's normal the jelly. Summon the Ocean Dragon Lord. Activate. Get our sea stealth, go to battle, and we got our opponent. This reasoning, great tech, just special summon an ocean dragler for free. Often you're going to get an Umi in the graveyard, which means if you have any sea stealths in hand, they're going to be uh, live. Let's pop our opponents, negate our opponent's doom cracking effect, get in for big damage. Opponent, we got sea stealth, we got another call by, we got negate with a jellyfish, and opponent is done. Got him. This the so see, you can see the superior Umi build. Let's go on to the next game. All right. All right, we got the reasoning. We got the fish sonar. Opponent going first. Upstar goblining. Reinforcements adding Sky Striker Ray. All right. Well, Sky Striker's got a big boost by this new ban list. They're going to be playing even more Sky Striker cards than usual. Opponent. Sky Strikering. Gane Kagari. Getting back. They're immobilized. Activating to draw a card, 
and search for a Sky Striker card. They got so many spells in the graveyard. Making it Shizuku. Passing the turn again. Another Sky Striker card to their hand. And this is a big problem because we know our opponent added a Monster Negate with the Sky Striker Mecha. We got to try our best. All right. Let's start with the reasoning. All right. If we activate Fish Sonar, they're going to know what we're up to. <laughs> we already got the Water Field. But we want to take advantage of them not knowing. Unfortunately, opponent has the Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom going to negate the reasoning. All right. That's fine. We got quite a powerful extension in their hand here. Let's activate Legendary Ocean. Summon the Jellyfish. Now we know our opponent has Monster Negate. So now we got to negate live with Jellyfish because we got Umi on field. So if opponent tries to negate Jellyfish, we got the negate. Negate the negate. All right. Let's get the Kairoshin on here. Activate to summon, but opponent has an Imperm. Imperm is not ideal. Traps are the bane of this deck's existence. You don't want to see traps. Let's activate Ice Age Ramara. Special summon the Ocean Dragon Lord. But we know opponent has a Monster Negate. Monster Negate going to happen. Can't stop it. We just got to hope our opponent doesn't have enough power on their turn to overwhelm us. All right. Get back our Ocean Dragon Lord opponent. Activating Maneuver. We're going to negate with the Jellyfish. Negate and Baboost. But opponent has three more cards and they're playing Sky Strikers. Sky Striker Ace Kagari coming back. Going to add a card from their graveyard to the hand. And that Mobilize is going to let them add any Sky Striker card they want. As well as drawing a random card. That's why this card used to be limited to one, I think. Uh, opponent. Sky Striker Mecha. Stealing our Ocean Dragon Lord. Crashing into the Jellyfish. Hitting us for 2,000 damage. And there is no way. There's no way we recover from this. Let's give Sky Strikers this one. And go on to the next game. Now, that new set is coming out. By the time this video airs, the new set will be out. So let me know what, uh, what spicy cards you want me to build around. We got some even more spice here. A single barrier statue. Now, everyone hates the barrier statues, but we're using them for good because we're playing water deck, right? That's fair. That's good. Reasoning. Not even a once per turn. Let's mill a bunch of cards. Opponent naming five. They saw our water field. They knew. I don't know how they knew, but they did. Let's activate reasoning again. Opponent naming five again, but we hit the jellyfish. Let's activate chicken game. Chicken game is probably the best free draw spell in this deck. Now you do not have to play this. This wasn't in the deck list that I found uh, that won the event. This is just like, uh, you know, chicken game. It's just a good draw spell. I didn't have the triple tactics talent, so I'm playing chicken game. Uh, great thing about it, just draw a free card. And because we're activating Umi, we're just gonna get rid of the chicken game. Opponent won't get to draw anything. Let's summon that barrier statue with the jellyfish. Set our sea stealth. Get rid of the chicken game. Legendary Ocean is live, and we got Ice Barrier. Opponent. Sea Turtling. Tributing our Barrier Statue. All right, very clever opponent. What else you got? Uh, Gamisiel. Going in, they don't want our Jelly Negate. Trying to get in and pop the Jellyfish? I don't think so. Negate and reduce. Opponent ending the turn. Back to our turn. We got another pot, draw two. So much value with the pots. Dragonoid generator not doing anything, but we have the whale. Let's get the whale in the graveyard. Get the ocean dragon lord back to our hand. Summon it. Get the sea stealth two. An opponent is done. You know why opponent is done? I checked their deck list. They're playing Numerons. Can Numeron. If you can't summon more than one monster, let's go on to the next game. All right. We got a pretty great hand here. Let's pot. Pot draw two. And the extra deck is not important in this deck at all. I know you're going to look at the extra deck at the end of the video. I'll have the full deck list. You're going to say, hey, do I need to play these cards in the extra deck? No. If you look at the deck list that our boy Pacifist Rat had, it was all jank. It was, there was nothing summonable in that extra deck. It was all normal fusion monsters. All right, Pod agreed. Draw two. Draw on the Jellyfish is pretty great. Let's activate Legendary Ocean. Summon the Jellyfish. Summon the Ocean Dragon Lord. Activate. You already got that sea stealth. Let's get the sea stealth too. Set. Activate. Opponent. Your move. We got sea stealth lock. We got a negate. Opponent playing sky strikers. Alright, time for revenge. Let's let it go. Opponent defishering to play around tier limits. That does nothing to us. Opponent passing. Alright, they got nothing. They can't summon with the token because of the ocean lock. 
let's get the Kyrushin Dark Reef. Go to battle. Uh, attack. Hit our opponent. Set some back row. We're gonna hold this Ice Bear in hand. We don't we won't wanna use our zones up. Opponent, Mecha Module is gonna activate. This will stop us from even though it doesn't really do anything, it's gonna stop us activating cards in response to their spell effects, so Jelly won't be able to do anything. Uh, except negate monster effects. We're just going to negate this. Negate this guy, Striker Modules. Uh, opponent. Sky Striker Mobilize. Get in the Sky Striker Ace Hayate. Attacking. But Ice Barrier. Going to reduce. Stop him from attacking directly because its effects are negated. Opponent. Pop in their own monster. Summoning the Ray. But they can only go into the water one. And it's not going to help them. Sky Striker is dominated. All right. Well, that is the power of Umi. Let's do one more game. All right. We got the water versus water match. Ultra, ultra water match. An opponent playing. Looks like Goaties. All right. Well, you know I love me some Goaties. We'll see if Goaties going first is better than Ocean Lock. Now, the big advantage of this deck, obviously, is that it's really good versus non-water decks. Our water lock does nothing against another water deck, putting us at a huge disadvantage. We do have pot agree to draw two, but right now our hand is looking pretty chunky. There's no way to make plays. We gotta draw something good. Opponent stealth cragging. Getting a lot of fish bodies on field. All right, we're gonna draw. Now, drawing the foolish burial goods could be pretty good. Let's start by activating our pot. After opponent summons the ship. All right, we're gonna pot. Draw two, hope to draw something good. Now, this is very unfortunate. We draw the Ocean Dragon Lord, but we have no way to summon it. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hey, can't you foolish burial goods search for an Ice Jade Tremora? Well, in my version of the deck that I have at the end of the video, yes, you can do that. But in the list that I got from the tournament, the Pacifist Rats list, there is no Ice Jade Tremora. So we cannot do anything that lets us summon the Ocean Dragon Lord. So what are you going to do in a situation like this, especially versus Goaty? I always do this, and it always works. You do nothing. And you go to battle. You fake that you have evenly matched. Let's go to battle. Opponent starts flailing around. Arian post activating. Banishing a Zep from the grave in the banish zone. It's going to summon itself. Immediately summon. Hey, Google him. All right. Opponent going to try and search. Let's negate with the call by. Negate and banish that Arian post. All right. We're looking, we're looking good. We just got to live another turn. Hope that we can activate this pot. Maybe we still have a chance. Let's activate Foolish Bear Goods. We're going to send Umi to the graveyard. Why are we sending Umi? Why aren't we sending an Ice Bear to search for a monster? Well, uh, we don't have any way to summon our Ocean Dragon Lord. And if we top deck a, a trap that lets us summon from the graveyard or, or activate the Sea Stealth 2, Sea Stealth Attack, let us activate that from the graveyard. We're, we're going to want an Umi in the graveyard. All right. That's why we're doing it that way. Let's set that Ice Barrier. Set that pot. Set the call by... On standby phase, we're gonna banish from the graveyard the shift. That's gonna mean they won't be able to activate start looping shifts. We gotta hope that they can't do any plays, any strong plays that disrupt our board. And maybe uh, setting the pot is wrong, but I just wanna bluff, all right? I wanna bluff into a back row deck. Unfortunately, opponent has another shift. They are summoning Baron de Fleur. Baron gonna pop at random, one of our back row, and has a negate. Not ideal. We can still top deck something good here. Losing the pot is a big deal. Ice Bear gonna try and negate the Baron, but Baron is negating the negate. We can search for a monster with Ice Barrier, try and thin our deck. Try to thin the deck. We shall see. Taking a big beating though. Let's activate. Activate, send the whale to the graveyard. Add the whale back to hand. We gotta draw something good here. Drawing the Sea Stealth 2, is this enough? Zep is shift is negated. Baron is gonna resummon from the graveyard the Zep. Immediately synchro summon into an Arian post that is no longer negated. Activating. Banishing. Snopios. Good play here. Good play from the Goaties. People out there saying Goaties are bad. They are not bad. Goaties very strong. Alright, let's Kaiju. Give our opponent a beautiful turtle to replace their XE monster. C self 2 is gonna let us summon the whale or the ocean dragon lord. Now if we summon the whale, it'll pop itself. Summon a monster from the deck, a warrior monster. Let's get that Mega Fortress Whale. And here's what we should do. All right, I made a bit, a bit of a mistake. All right, we get 
the Raiho, in main phase two, we could tribute summon Ocean Dragon Lord, get the Sea Stealth attack, and then we'd have a Waterlock, which doesn't do anything, but Sea Stealth attack, pretty solid at defending us. We can summon things with the Umi. We're gonna get back that legendary ocean from the graveyard, which messes up all their levels. That'll be pretty sweet, but I accidentally to the end phase. I <laughs> accidentally right to the end phase. All right, the don't accidentally the end phase. All right, guys, out here, try your best and uh, don't accidentally the end phase. All right, now opponent, if we had reduced their levels, this would have been one, this would have been five. They would have been able to make a six so they could just Arian post again. Uh, they also have this Gamisiel, which would be reduced to seven so they could make an eight and banish something. So they could have banished our Sea Stealth, popped our Umi, probably got in for big damage, but you never know. You never know. Don't misplay. All right, here we are getting beat up by Godis. That is the struggle. And General Raiho doing nothing, all right? General Raiho, what are you doing? You're not doing anything. Let's get out of here. Honorable Seppuku against the Gotis. All right. I guess we know what the best water deck is now. Let's go on to the deck list. All right, here is my Umi control list updated. All right, now, the SRX is nonsense, all right? We're not planning to summon from this, but if you really want to have something in here, the Stealth Kragans, sometimes you'll be able to summon them. And we got a Zeus. Uh, also, Nightmare Phoenix, maybe get rid of some back row. Uh, the other cards in here, you're probably never going to use. Maybe maybe the maybe the Marincess. But we're really not planning to use these at all, so don't worry about this extra deck. Play nonsense. We got Barry Statue, we got Triple Jellyfish, we got one Ice Jade Chamorro, we got Triple Ocean Dragon Lord. We have General Raiho, which has been underwhelming, but it does do a pretty good job against two elements, forces them to discard a bunch of cards. Potentially, I have never seen Raiho be good, but maybe there's a time where he will be. Mega Fortress Will, we got Gimme Seal, we got Triple Reasoning, we got a singular Foolish Barrel Goods, we got two Pot of Extravagance, uh, the other list was running three of these. I'm running two because I find them to be clogged if you run more than more than two. We got Pot of Prosperity. We got Triple Fish Sonar. We got Triple Legendary Ocean. We got Single Trick Chicken Game. This was a this was a triple tactics talent. We got one Dragonoid Generator. Very fun little janky play. We got Sea Stealth 2 at two. We got two Call by the Graves. These also were not in the deck. More copies of Triple Tactics Talent. We got Triple Ice Barrier. We got Evenly Matched. We got Kyrushin's Dark Reef, we got Sea Stealth Attack, and that is the deck list. All right, let's not worry about the extra deck. Like I said, you can just run nonsense. Don't worry about it at all. I did not once in this entire video summon anything from the extra deck, and that is how most of your games are going to go. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you like seeing the power level of Umi with a reasoning, with the Dragonoid Generator Jank. Could be pretty powerful. It lets you summon tokens once, once each turn, so it is repeat value. And you can protect it with your uh, with your sea stealth attack as a face-up spell. So I think that's pretty strong. I think it has a really, really good outlook in this meta where people are going to be playing bestials. They're going to be playing all dark monsters, all light monsters, and Umi control. There's nothing for you, them to banish. So this is um, some pretty, pretty good anti-meta rogue deckless value going on. So if you like water decks, just uh, break out the Umi control. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you come back next time, see the new cards, check out the new cards, have a good night.